Hi, in this video, you will discover how to add real-time chat messaging to any Swift UI app. We will build this Swift UI chat application using the Stream Swift UI SDK. So you can go to the Stream website and go to the section iOS SDK. So let's click this one. It goes to the SDK page. There is a link Swift UI chat app tutorial. So we are going to build a chat application following this tutorial. So let's begin by creating a blank Swift UI project in Xcode. We will call this app Swift UI Chat Demo. We will leave the platform as iOS and application as app. Then next, I have the name in the clipboard, so I will paste it here. Then I will go to next. I will choose a location to save the app and create. So we now have our blank Swift UI project. The next thing we need to do is to fetch the SDK. We can fetch the SDK from GitHub. So we have a link in the tutorial. I will copy this link. So this is the main Swift UI chat SDK. With the link still in the clipboard, I'll go back to the Xcode project. To add the SDK, we can go to File, Add Packages. In the search, I will paste the link, then click Add Package and wait for some time. Click Add Package again. So in the Project Navigator, you can see we have the main SwiftUI app, Content View, and the Package Dependencies. So the SwiftUI SDK is dependent on Jifu, Nook, and Nook UI. Jifu provides support for animated GIFs. Then we have Nook which provides an efficient way to download images in your app. Nook UI, this provides support for lazy image downloading. Then we have StreamChat and StreamChat Swift UI. Let's go back to the tutorial again to set up the SDK. After fetching the SDK from GitHub, we need to set it up. So let's start from this point, displaying a list of channels. You can think of the list of channels as your contact list. We will begin with a new file called app delegate. When you create a storyboard project in Xcode, you get the app delegate by default. For a Swift UI project, we need to create our own app delegate. I will select the Swift UI app folder and control click and choose add file. You can leave the file as Swift UI view or just a Swift view, it doesn't matter. We will call this app delegate and create. Let's select all the content and delete. We will replace the content of the app delegate with code from the website. So let's go back to the tutorial again. So whenever the chat app starts, we need to handle lifecycle events. And this is done using the app delegate. So in this file, we have to import stream chat, stream chat UI, UI kit and Swift UI. Then we create the class app delegate and add the function application, which will handle lifecycle events when the app starts. Next, we have to connect the app delegate to the app. So let's go back to the Swift UI project again. We now have the app delegate here and the main Swift UI app, but this file does not know anything about the app delegate. So we have to register its presence in the Swift UI app. So to do that, I will select all the code and delete this because when the app launches, it is this code that will be displayed to show the main screen. But to show our main screen, we need to replace the content. So our main screen is the content view, but that is not what we want. We want to display the list of channels. So let's select that and delete and go back to the website again. So we are going to replace the content with this one, we will go back to the app delegate and create stream chat instance and chat client instances. So in the app delegate, we will add the variable stream chat and add stream chat client instance to the implementation. Then we define a chat client config and pass it as a parameter to the chat client. After we do that, we need to connect a user. To do this, we use the function connect user call the connect user function from the body of application in the app delegate file. So when you look at this section of the code, it is the one I explained earlier. 
then we connect to the user using a connect user function and with a hard coded token. For a production environment, you will need your own API key. To get your own API key, you can sign up for a free chat trial account. The last part in the app delegate is about doing basic error handling. So let's copy this code and replace the content of the app delegate. Let's move the app delegate below the main Swift UI file. And for the content view, we do not need it. So let's select it and delete. Let's go back to the main Swift UI file again. So you can see when the app starts, this is the screen we will display. That is the content view. We want to display the list of channels, not the content view. So let's go back to the tutorial. Under the section, presenting a chat user interface. Currently, we have the content view, but we need the chat channel list view. So let's copy this one and replace it. So this is all we need to do to set up the SDK using the app delegate and how to display the channel list using the chat channel list view. We can now go ahead and run the app to see what we have done. And that brings the channel list of items. By clicking any one of them, we go to the messages view. So we have inbound and outbound messages. We can tap and hold any message to bring reactions. Or we can send our own messages. We can send attachments as well by using the paperclip icon. It also supports chiffy commands. For example, let's search for cart. So this is how you can quickly and easily add real-time chat messaging to any Swift UI app using the Streams Swift UI SDK. Thanks for watching.